Uh, how are we doing? Um, Jimble Hall is my name. Um, I'm farming here uh, in a place called Danville, just on the outside, on the outskirts of uh, Kenny City. So we're liquid milk producers, and we supply liquid milk uh, to Danbia for the table. At the moment, the calf is split is about 30-70, uh, so 30% of the herd will calve in the autumn, and 70% uh, will calve in the spring. Um, we're operating a slightly different system, I suppose, to, uh, to the conventional. Due to land fragmentation and our land base, we have very little ground around the parlour and all our ground was being accessed by uh, public roads. Uh, we decided a number of years ago to start zero grazing. We, we put in, we, we started making with, with robots uh, in April of, of 19. So we bought three Lely robots. We had grown the herd. We had grown the herd to from 110 cows to 180 cows. Um, and prior to that, like we were given nearly seven hours a day making cows because we were growing the numbers to have enough of cows to, to uh, I suppose, fill the robots. So at the moment, there's 170 cows uh, in the yard. We have bred our cow over the years for uh, uh, probably a higher production, maybe, that we're, we're trying to keep uh, milking our cows because we're producing cows in our milk, producer milk in the autumn when our costs are high. So we were kind of trying to get the genetics that would harness that if we fed a cow, uh, if we gave a, if we were TMR feeding for, oh, I suppose, over 25 years now, so if those cows were being fed properly, that they would give an economic return. And I suppose, to be fair, fertility, fertility has become the focus. If you go globally, um, uh, you will look at uh, systems like ours where cows are given a lot of time indoors. Fertility is the driver of that. You have to get those girls to calve back in uh, stale cows don't produce milk, so we are getting more interested and more critical on fertility. Fertile cows will go back in calf, and so you keep your days in milk down. What we're running is probably a higher cost system, and we're feeding cows fairly well. And feet and legs are probably even more, even as much or as more critical now, because cows are spending a lot of their time indoors. They're outside for the dry period, um, but most of their lactation, they're they're actually indoors. So what are we? What we're trying to achieve is um, a medium size, a medium sized cow with with good chest capacity, good feet and legs. Our cows probably got too big over the years, and we're now looking at maybe reducing stature a small bit. They don't need to be 61 inches at the wither uh, to give you 10,000 kilos of milk. So this is kind of our our, our hard targets. We like to see heifers doing over. Uh, this year our heifers are going to do about 7,800 kilos. Um, so we like to see heifers doing. Uh, over six and a half which gives scope then some of the heifers will do over nine but six and a half onwards we'll give every heifer a chance of course if a heifer doesn't reach six and a half thousand we'll give her the benefit of the doubt because for one reason or another some heifers just don't perform in their first lactation so uh and then most of the cows would do nine thousand kilos plus a good few of them doing ten thousand eleven thousand kilos uh first holstein bull was dove and edboy and um in the first cross he gave us big powerful cows, uh, the British Frisian, it was the, it was the classic F1 cross, so you had this medium or this medium sized British Frisian, and then you put Dove Ned by on him, and he just gave us powerful cows, and we got we got maybe 2,000 kilos of milk, um, we just got a huge lift on milk on one cross, the F1 cross obviously was always going to be the, the, the best the best cross, and uh, so we went on from there, we were using, it was mainly Dove sires at the time, and um, and in in the past they were using bulls like Dove or uh, that Dutch bull Malky and Darren actually worked my daughter worked over on that farm in Ki Salmon there with part of her UCD placement last summer and she made the her in she made the cows in the Ki Salmon herd and she saw the, the the sires working on the farm and I suppose that gave us a bit of extra confidence as well. We've used a good few we've good few Pimmerin cows there. Uh, he's a bull I would go back and consider using again because he's breeding the kind of cows we like, medium sized cows with good chest capacity and just uh, a good ability to milk. We are using bulls that have a positive uh, for for teeth length and a positive for teeth spacing and I noticed there Dove are incorporating bulls with a symbol for, for robot friendly cows. And uh, I suppose it does make sire selection easier. We are using the likes of that Battenberg Michael there. Um, we've used him uh, there this year on our cows, and uh, the calves will be landing this spring. Uh, as as it says, and hopefully it'll be 
fertile cows with good udders and a good natural will to milk.